I recently bought an Elgato face cam and it advertises that it has low latency and so far I was able to see that it indeed has lower latency than for example the Canon webcam driver that I was using. However, have you ever wondered what is the actual latency of the Elgato face cam and how does it compare to for example a internal webcam of your MacBook if you own one? So I decided to do a couple measurements. One way of measuring was to get an image in your QuickTime preview window and measure the latency between uh, me, for example, moving my finger or moving my hand and uh, the latency between the first frame where I actually start moving my finger and the first frame that appears on the screen. This method proved to be somewhat unreliable because uh, it measures the latency of uh, the display driver as well and it turned out to be pretty big. For uh, reference, the latency that I measured for both Elgato cam and MacBook camera was around 90 milliseconds. The actual latency that uh, the webcams provide should be much lower than that. Another way to measure that I invented maybe someone else did as well, but I also invented it, was to use audio for synchronization. And it makes sense because when, for example, you're streaming or when you're having a meeting, what people hear, the what latency people actually perceive is the latency between the image and audio. You should include uh, the audio latency into account too, but what really matters is uh, what is the difference between the latency between the webcam and the external or internal microphone that you might have? I did test two things. I did test the difference between both webcams that I have, Elgato and the internal webcam and my external audio microphone that you're uh, seeing right now. And I also tested it against the internal MacBook microphone. Supposedly the internal microphone that uh, is present on the MacBook should have a lower latency because it doesn't have any USB. I was able to achieve the best results with the internal webcam and internal microphone, which makes sense because the manufacturer, uh, Apple in this case, would probably calibrate those and make them in sync. And this is exactly what happened there. I couldn't observe any latency difference between the internal microphone and the internal webcam. The second best uh, option was the internal microphone and the Elgato face cam. It turned out to be 1.4 frames on average, so this is around 20 milliseconds. So it is also barely noticeable and you will probably never notice it if you didn't specifically look for it. And when using the external microphone, in my case the difference was higher, uh, so for Elgato face cam it was 48 milliseconds or 3 frames on average and uh, with the uh, internal webcam it was around 1 frame or 16 milliseconds. So in general I would say yes, uh, Elgato webcam definitely provides a very low latency that would be probably noticeable only if you are playing music or doing something that is extremely latency and time sensitive. And for regular meetings or work or whatever, you will probably never notice any difference. Thank you for watching until the end and definitely do not subscribe or ring the bell to my videos because I post random content in two different languages, in Russian and English, so it will be no use to actually turn on notifications and subscribe. So if you liked my video, just leave a like and a comment and that will be enough. Thank you and see you next time.